Good afternoon, everyone. Jonathan Davis here with Davis Auto Sports. Excited to offer you guys our completed 2001 DAS Stage 2 Cherokee XJ Sport. It's very rare for our Jeeps to actually make the market uh, for sale. 90% of the Jeeps that leave here are custom built by the client. Usually when we start to build a Jeep, we'll do a pre-listing and put it on our website during the building phase and they sell during that process as well. This one we decided not to do a pre-listing. We wanted to actually bring a completed finished Jeep to market and that's what we have. A couple things I want to point out. Uh, we literally just got finished with this Jeep. There's a little bit more reconditioning that we have to do. The Cherokee Sport emblem we take off when we paint correct and wet sand. So that has not been put back on on that side. However, it's been put back on on the driver's side. There's a few other things I'll get into in the video to show you. We also are shooting this in 4K. So if you have the ability to watch this in 4K, please do so. We'll full, uh, first go through all the cosmetic exterior stuff. Then we'll get into the servicing, suspension. Uh, this thing has a ton of work done to it. Uh, so just if you're interested in this Jeep, give us 20, 25 minutes of your time to really showcase this Jeep and everything that we did. So as stated, we'll start off with the exterior. For the paint on this, we did paint a number of panels and we also paint corrected. If you're unfamiliar with paint correction, I'll walk you through that process uh, as we make our way uh, around the Jeep and through the video. But a majority of the front of this Jeep, uh, we did paint. The front bumper, obviously tons of rock chips and everything else, so that got painted. And the way we sort of do things here, if we do one thing uh, that butts up to another panel and that panel has a little bit of wear, uh, we just typically paint. I mean, we're a full restoration facility here, so it's nothing for us to do it. And everything we do here is obviously the, uh, the right way. But freshly painted front bumper, freshly painted grill, header panel, hood we did this front fender and we did the flare had a little bit of slight discoloring up top and we're doing that of course we're going to do the hood cow which we done this filler panel as well the rest of the entire side of the jeep was all paint corrected essentially um wonder if we have I don't think we have anything actually in here getting done we got some jeeps in our reconditioning department over there getting done very tedious process long story short you essentially wet sand the clear coat uh, down a little bit and then with multiple steps of high speed compounds polish and buffs you bring it back to life so this is original paint and look at the glare and gloss and this is the new paint and it's literally the same you can't tell the difference that's also because this paint was in good condition to begin with as well give you a good side shot of the Jeep and it is absolutely as straight as can be we did not paint this flare it was already in really good condition a couple tiny 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 rock chips down there so as you see driver side absolutely impeccable all of the black on the jeep the front bumper caps the bottom valence all three pieces of side trim the rear bumper caps and the same thing on the other side all of those were removed off of the jeep completely sanded down with multiple grits of sandpaper stripped down completely sealed and then sprayed uh, with our two-part kevlar these were then reapplied with a 3M uh, body bond, which these trim pieces are not gonna come off. They're not gonna come off and peel on the corners uh, like a lot of the factory trim because they use double-sided tape. So this stuff is on there and is on to stay. Gives it a nice rugged look. It's very durable. It won't fade. Check out the rocker panel, extremely clean.
bottom of the doors absolutely perfect same thing with the rockers The body on this, we probably spent six weeks plus between uh, our process with painting as well is very tedious. Every single panel that we paint comes off of the Jeep, completely disassembled. Uh, I also forgot that we painted the uh, headlight bezels as well. So every panel that we paint gets removed off of the Jeep gets completely sanded down to the original metal or the plastic so we sand through the clear coat the base coat the primer sand down to the original material and then from there we prime it block it which means we sand it down and then we prime it again sand it down again and if it's metal we'll use a sealer and if it's plastic it doesn't need one and then we do the base which is the color and two to three coats of clear and then after that, we wet sand it to make the clear coat completely flat and buff it so that the finish is absolutely perfect with no orange peel or anything else. So extremely tedious, time consuming. But the end result is what you see here. As mentioned, emblems will go on Monday. I wanted to get this on today, it's Friday. I wanted to get it on before the weekend. It will most likely sell over the weekend. So once again, painted this fender, painted this flare, did not paint this door and look at the difference. get into all the accessories here in a little bit couple little tiny chips right there once again Kevlar finish bumper cap We've removed the back bumper and painted that as well. So it is literally 100% perfect. What you're seeing is just glares from the lights. So besides from refinishing it, bringing it down to metal, priming it multiple times, sanding it, base coat, multiple coats of clear, uh, any imperfections that were in it, scratches, gouges from over the years of putting stuff in, those were all filled in for a perfectly smooth finished bumper tail lights perfect I don't know if we replace them or not we typically do if they need it so those are perfect same thing there all the seals and belt moldings are good all the glass is a hundred percent original these headlights are not the knockoffs that you see on Amazon those are uh, JW speaker headlights if you look those up online between the pair they're probably about 800 bucks uh, for the pair very high quality lights also DOT approved new windshield wiper arms new wiper blades uh, so as you see the exterior on this there's literally not anything that was either not completely refinished or serviced with a paint correction so beautiful beautiful Jeep condition wise Move on to the wheels and tires, 245, 75, 16 BFG KO2s on our DAS Moab wheels. These ones have the machined finished face with the silver insert. No scratches, these are just all reflections that you're seeing. New lug nuts. Service wise on this Jeep, uh, we did a ton of servicing, starting with the engine, rear main seal, oil pan gasket, valve cover gasket, new oil pan, new valve cover, completely new AC system, brand new AC compressor, evaporator, orifice tube, uh, heater core, condenser, 
literally every single component uh, of the AC system was replaced. When we do uh, systems here, whether it's a cooling system, an AC system, we don't do parts, especially if all components rely on one another to perform to its maximum performance. So AC and heat system, all brand new top to bottom. It's nothing you're gonna have to worry about in that system for years and years to come. The actual cooling system, new radiator, water pump, thermostat, plumbing, all that is also brand new. So engine fully serviced, AC, cooling system. The drive line underneath, fully serviced top to bottom. So front differential, transmission, transfer case, rear differential, fully serviced, all new synthetic fluids, filters, flush out, all that good stuff. The suspension, uh, so a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna go over underneath this Jeep, we just did. And a lot of it was done roughly about a thousand miles ago. Suspension wise, as far as the, the major components, it's got an Old Man Emu ARB uh, two and a half inch uh, suspension setup. What has also been added are JKS adjustable coilover spacers, which you can actually adjust the suspension up and down, which is very nice. We also have uh, upgraded tie rod bar up front with brand new tie rod ends. We have JKS track bar, top of the line track bar, new drag link bar, Fox steering stabilizer, which is brand new, Old Man Emu shocks, which is one of the best riding shocks. And above those are, or excuse me, next to those are the ARB coils, which have the JKS uh, fully adjustable coil spacer, which is a very nice up, upgrade as well. When we build our Jeeps here, the axles get completely dropped out of the Jeep. They get soda blasted, or excuse me, media blasted, and everything gets refinished with a brand new look. All of the hardware is also grade 10 hardware. The marks on it are from the second technician. The first tech installs everything. The second tech goes over everything and marks it for torquing. There's your JKS track bar. We also have JKS sway bar end links, fully serviceable. Those are top of the line as well. Ball joints have been upgraded. Literally everything underneath the front of this Jeep is either brand new or about a thousand miles on it. The oil pan, if you can see it in the background, it's new. The seal on it is new as well. <clears throat> there are your spacers right there. Uh, cool over spacers, fully adjustable, very nice features. So, for example, if you wanted to bring this Jeep up a little bit, you literally wrench those to spin them up. And then on the rear with the Adelie, leaf, that's what, or the Adelie, leaf, it's got a full leaf spring, but the adjustable shackle, you can change the mount point to raise the back end. So, this Jeep, the front is adjustable three more inches. Uh, and it's a long series shock, so the shock will go up with it. I don't recommend going up three inches. Um, you're not gonna have that much in the back. You're gonna have probably about two inches in the back. <clears throat> JKS uh, Flex adjustable lower control arms. Brand new exhaust system that we just did. New catalytic converter, new muffler. We do a very nice exhaust that is a fan favorite, nice and tight, tucked in, very, very clean. Doesn't stick out, just super clean, tucked in, nice, sounds great. And that's a custom exhaust system that we do here in house. Another very nice, can't see it from this view, very nice upgrade is slip yoke eliminator on the drive shaft. Uh, completely eliminates any driveline vibration, upgraded rear drive shaft, upgraded front drive shaft. So this thing has literally every single thing that you would ever want if money wasn't an option to have a lifted Jeep and for it to drive. There's nothing you're going to be able to do to this particular Jeep to increase the road manners, the trail manners, the drivability. There's literally nothing you can do. It's got the best of the best for comfort but also very capable. It's the best of both worlds. And there's just nothing at all that you're gonna be able to do. <clears throat> G2 diff cover as well. Rear axle was also dropped, sandblasted, refinished. The underneath of our Jeeps are super, super clean. Everything's done for a show quality finish.
paint is incredibly smooth as well. And as I said, guys, there is some last minute things that we're gonna have to do to this. I just wanted to get it online before the weekend. So through the front grill, I'll tell you, it's a nice tranny cooler. Um, as you saw, it had the factory tow hitch. The really nice thing about that is you do get the factory cooler. So behind the grill, the first thing you see is your AC condenser. Behind that is a brand new radiator. To continue with the cooling system, uh, new thermostat, housing, new water pump, AC system, all the other components with the AC system over there, plus in the firewall with the heater core, an evaporator plus a condenser I showed you earlier, new battery, new valve cover, rear main seals new as well. So regular 4.0 engine bay, just clean with a bunch of new parts. Our upholstery department just got finished the interior, literally, well, they just got it in uh, yesterday and there's still some things that we have to do but it does have our leather seat package which in addition to doing our leather seats we rebuild all the bolsters which really feel phenomenal when you get into a 20 year old seat with the original bolsters they're very flat they don't hug you uh, one thing that we haven't done to this Jeep yet we actually typically wait a couple days leave it out in the heat and everything else before we shrink it but we steam the leather to tighten it up but sometimes if we steam it all the way tight and it goes outside for the first time and gets hot it'll shrink a little bit more so we typically leave them like this for a few days let them stay outside let them get hot uh, to sort of do their natural thing and then we'll we'll tighten it up as as need to but essentially they're all gonna look like this nice and tight when it's all done so any wrinkles that you see just keep in mind uh, those won't be there when we do the seats, obviously they come all the way out. We refinish the seat brackets. We sand them all down, uh, all four brackets on each seat. Completely sand them nice and smooth. We prime them, we paint them, and then we put new gray tin hardware. These bolts are exposed, um, especially the back ones underneath. So when they get wet, they'll actually start to get a little bit of rust on the feet, uh, which is very common in these. So that's why we do the gray tin hardware and refinish uh, the seats. Plus, they're visible, so it's uh, nice to have that done. You don't want to have worn out uh, metal feet with brand new leather. When the seats are out, carpet's completely steam cleaned every square inch. WeatherTech floor liners. Uh, we also have a brand new headliner and visors. Nice, nice sound system in this thing. Pioneer navigation, uh, backup camera upgraded Alpine door speakers, upgraded rear Alpine speakers. We also have our heated seats as well. We have a very nice diamond audio, very clean sub in the back that I'll show you once we get back there. Nice pockets that we do on the leather seats. We'll do the same thing. We'll let these form naturally and then do what we need to do to them when you get into one of our jeeps with the new headliner the steam carpet the leather seats everything just smells fresh and new and that's a great thing you uh when you get into a, a 20 year old cherokee no matter the miles or how well it's kept if it has original headliner original carpet original cloth seats it just has a tendency to have a sort of older smell so when you get into ours and it smells fresh and new it's it's pretty delightful Alpine amp to power uh, all the speakers that have been upgraded. Uh, the seats we do here also, uh, we put these little leather guys in there to strap in the, the buckles right there. Nice and clean. They stay up. It's a pain having to hold those up from the factory seats to open and close the seat. You never have to worry about that. Seat belts are very clean as well. Door jams, very clean. 
bottom of the doors are literally like perfect. Brand new rear shocks. Clean, clean, clean. Very clean. Nice diamond audio sub. High quality sub right there. <clears throat> As mentioned, new headliner. Very, very smooth finish. Once again, nice, fat, thick bolsters all the way around the seat. Go ahead and give this thing a quick little start. Actually, let me uh, let you guys hear the exhaust. Nice little, little more than a stock growl. Inside, every square inch is uh, as clean as you're going to get. No issues whatsoever on the inside. Extremely clean. Uh, also have Bluetooth. So that's it guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video i can assure you with this hitting the market on friday it will most likely sell over the weekend if it doesn't it's because i was on my track for doing work and i didn't take the call <laughs> so you guys enjoy the weekend uh, if you're viewing this on youtube make sure to go to our website at davisautosports.com that way you can get price, VIN, uh, more information uh, that wasn't in this video, the full build sheet, spec sheet, because I always miss some things when doing these videos. They are all off the, the top of my head, so to say. So hope you guys enjoy. We don't have any other Jeeps uh, currently that we are working on uh, with the exception of this 01 Limited with 59,000 miles out of Florida. And uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it in stock form or do our stage two, but that's a client, it's sold, that's a client, it's sold, that sold, plus all the other ones around the other backside of our shop and front side. So this is literally the only one turnkey. Um, the few things we have to do are just a day or two. Also, if there's anything you want to add to this Jeep, whether it's a roof rack, a rear tire carrier, uh, whatever it is, a different set of wheels, uh, you're not going to offend us if you don't like our wheels, no problem. But the overall build of the Jeep is going to remain intact. Um, but any accessories or anything like that, let us know. DavisAutosports.com, 855-XJ Jeeps. Thanks for viewing.